Welcome to CAM Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each day, a staff member will be sharing an object from the permanent collection and posing a question for discussion. Please check back at 10 a.m. every day for a new work and a new chat. My name is Kristen Spangenberg, and I'm curator of prints. Today, I'm going to talk to you about an artist from Cincinnati who I greatly admired. He was a talented painter, printmaker, draftsman, and graphic designer. Tom Shaw was born in 1947. Uh, he graduated from the Art Academy of Cincinnati in 1970 and got a master's from Cranbrook Academy of, of Art in 1985. He worked for 27 years for Cincinnati Bell doing their graphic design, but at the same time he was very active in his studio. I met him in the mid-1960s when I did an invitational exhibition of prints and drawings and followed his career subsequently. <clears throat> in 1996, Tom was at his peak. He had two shows simultaneously in Cincinnati, Hedge on Me, the Hidden Fury at the Contemporary Art Center, and the show that I curated, The Malcolm X Paradox, Woodcuts by Tom Shaw at the museum. <clears throat> One of the prints in the exhibition was the drive-by from the Malcolm X Paradox series. One of at least 25 prints. It is, quite frankly, a <clears throat> no holds bar in your face recording of the state of affairs of inner city America where drug dealing, domestic violence, gang violence, and indiscriminate killing were business as usual. Tom used an exaggerated caricature style with his larger than life figures uh, as his woodcuts to really speak about the issues that plagued African-American life and culture. In this print, you see the anguish of a mother as her child has been shot indiscriminately. Tom's work, he was as a concerned citizen. He shared his angst over senseless killings and that deprives the country of potential teachers, lawyers, and doctors. He was very enthusiastic, very personable, and served as a role model in Cincinnati and provided guidance for younger artists in their career of approaching art. And it is really a tribute to him that this print done in 1995 still speaks very strongly today. We have in the news, at least weekly, a anonymous, indiscriminate drive-by. And it's a shame that our society cannot seem to deal with this situation. Are there ways in which you think you can help eliminating drive-by and indiscriminate killings.